a good amount of land. No! You've got to be kidding me. Really, Creeper? Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's CarsonArk35 here. Welcome back to episode 2 of our Minecraft Achievement Hunt series. So today, it's mainly going to be getting the rest of our base set up. It's a lot of work that we've got to get done um, because we have a lot of achievements to do. And I hadn't realized it before, but they had broken it down into three different uh, sections for advancement. So that's kind of cool. So we have a full list of everything we want to do here. So mainly though, we need food right off the back. So we're going to start in husbandry, whatever that's called. And uh, we're going to start making farms and everything. So we need a regular farm for wheat and everything. And then we also need a farm for animals. So cows, sheep, pigs, and everything. I had started to clear this out just a little bit. Um, see, because I want this area to be my farms and everything. And then I want up here to be a pathway to the village. But it's just such a height difference. And yes, I know the villagers have their own farms, but I want to leave those uh, and these for um, their um, trading and their level ups and everything because, and their natural growth because I'm going to block all of this off, you remember, from the first episode so we can create a massive villager trading farm. Instead of building one like indoors, we can take a village and expand it by adding stuff. So what we can do though is take down the crops and break them down so we can do that so we can get more out of it so perfect and we can just replant some of this uh then we got achievement cd place it's not the farm we wanted because it's not our farm but it's still a farm technically and i did not bring to break that one i'm so sorry okay so let's come over here and get some more perfect plant some more carrots down and we have potatoes they have potatoes too though and plant some of these perfect there we go and that one's grown perfect now we've got potatoes wheat seeds and carrots and i think that's all they actually grow in villages so we are all good there so what we need to do is honestly take ooh cow um i need a shovel i need to make an area blocked off so i can just start collecting animals while i see them while i'm building my farms and my pins and stuff hi doggos hi everyone Okay, so let's go ahead and, first of all, we're going to need the seeds, we're going to need the bone meal. Uh, let's just toss all this in our inventory. What else do we need? We need um, three for an axe, three for a new pickaxe. Um, is there anything else we need? We need uh, one for a shovel, and then, because our stone shovel is not going to last much longer, and then, I think that's all the supplies we need. We could use... Um, wood and make a cobblestone hoe so we don't have to worry about that farming and i i brought in all my chests and i reorganized it this is a junk chest that's why it's down below and these are the important chests um so i no longer have stuff sitting outside okay so let's go ahead and make all the tools we need here perfect some sticks okay some sticks here let's make the pick now the axe perfect shovel there we go and then i need one more piece of wood Thank you all so very much. Okay, come back in here and make ourselves a stone hoe for farming. And then we will be all set with a whole new set of tools and everything. Perfect. Throw that in there. And um, let's go ahead and throw the stone axe in here as well, just in case. Uh, shovels break a lot easier than axes, so I'm going to wait that one out. Put that here and put this here. Perfect. Okay. Um, and my wheat. And so now let's go ahead and build a just a pit somewhere. Uh, let's just put a pit right here for any animals that we need. We can put them right in here. Perfect. Okay. Um, here, cow. Oh, come here, cow. Come here. Yeah, there you go, cow. Come on. No, nope, no zombie. You go away. Go away. Go away. Don't light me on fire. Die. Okay. Cow, look, I got some wheat for you, buddy. Come here. Yeah, we're gonna take you to a nice little pit. Yeah, just come right in here, bud. Come on. There you go. No, no. Fine, stop being smart. Perfect. Now you're trapped. Deal with that cow. Okay, so we need a bigger area. We need to really clear all this out. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Oh my god, no, that's taking too long. Iron shovel. Okay, that's so much better. We have a lot to clear out here. So um, the decision is where we're gonna put the farms and everything. I'm thinking we should put the farms on that side and the 
other ones on this side because it's closer to the water and I know it doesn't make a difference because we're going to have a water source in the farm itself but I think this is going to be just nicer looking if we keep it along with the water overall okay this is going to take absolutely forever is what it's going to take but hopefully we can see some more farm animals outside of just that one cow otherwise we're going to run into some troubles okay everyone so i decided to come in here i'm going to give you guys an update of where we are i've got all the dirt in the world i swear and i'm running out of food so i've cleared out this massive and i mean massive area it's literally been the size of this but put over here and it was originally out to like here and stretched this way and i've just cleared it out so originally i would cut through the mountain uh let me come up here and i can show you right up here because here's my staircase leading to my house i had originally made it here but it wasn't lined up um right here so i had cut through this entire mountain so this was a flat cliff face and i had mined out all the dirt on this side and once i had done that i had just replaced all the dirt on a single layer so in each side that was shown from stone because it was a mountain or a hill i replaced with uh, dirt and then i did you know some mining I, I replaced some of the other stone with dirt by mining it up i placed more dirt down i tried to make it look as natural as possible i wanted to free up more space for farmland but at the same time i just didn't want a flat cliff face so now i plan on doing the same thing over here it's taken me like half an hour to do this so i gotta do that all over again over here and i've gone through like four iron shovels or four to six iron shovels it's absolutely ridiculous and i got one more cow as well hi guys um but it's definitely worth it so it's going to open up all this farmland and then all of land over here for the animals as well and i can clean it up and everything so it's definitely worth it and i think it will be a much much uh needed journey and i have a crazy and i mean crazy amount of dirt now it's ridiculous i'm gonna have to make a whole chest just for dirt wait i see stone in there no it was a uh, polished die right okay um anyways i will see you guys when we have another update for you okay everyone so we take a look now i've completely cleared out both sides i still have to get rid of all of this stone and replace it with dirt and everything uh, i decided instead of making a pathway out of like andesite or stone brick slabs or something like i was originally thinking to do or staircases i've made it this but i'm, I'm starting to rethink it uh, only because i have to jump and, and that's kind of annoying and i don't want to I, I wanted it to flow with the village that's why i did this um, but I think uh, slabs or staircases are definitely going to be better. Um, I have so much dirt in my inventory in my house and laying around. Now, something does bother me about this hill. No matter which way I dig it or which way I, I place box, it feels natural, but it also feels very unnatural. And I don't know because there's just a lot more dirt and then grass growing on that side compared to what this side did um, in the amount of time. But... I guess we'll find out. I broke my uh, my brand new iron pick. I I've made like six more shovels. It's so ridiculous how much dirt I've mined up. It's crazy. But we just need to replace all of this stone, and then we can go ahead and start setting up the farm area uh, over here. So in all reality, I'm gonna store half these blocks and make me a new iron pick because this stone pick is way way too slow. So let's just throw a bunch of these. Okay, you know I'm I need a waste packet. I need a lava waste source is what I need. Okay, let's just throw half of these blocks out. It's just dirt for the God's sakes. Okay, there we go. We Because we don't need all of that. Perfect. Okay, now let's make ourselves a um, brand new pickaxe. Because that's something we severely do need. Okay, and perfect. A nice iron pick again. Uh, we need to find diamonds after uh, probably next episode. Uh, before we continue doing our uh, hunting achievement part of this. Purely because we're going to need a lot more efficient tools. Iron tools are great and all. Um, and I'm not looking for diamond tools. Diamond tools would be nice. But mainly so I can get enchanting. Enchantments are a lot easier to get than just get diamond tools. And once again I could always do both. Um, so we have only two cows so far. I've not explored outside in front of my house to look for any more animals yet. Um, so no more have come by either. So I've not seen any more to capture anymore. But we need a big enough area to capture all of the animals so we can breed them all. That's one of the reasons I wanted a big space for animals. 
um, because we also want some big auto, uh, automatic farms hopefully eventually um, automatic cooking farms for animals though I think will be one of my uh, troubles with redstone I can make myself an auto sugarcane farm which I do plan on doing at some point during this series as well as a regular sugarcane farm um, I make both of them just so one's active during the day uh, while I'm on here and the other one will naturally grow it, it always seems to be a little more efficient that way if you kind of split it and I've slept like 20 times I've not got any mobs because as soon as it hits dark time I just run in here and I sleep um, but yeah so let's go ahead and continue mining up this um, I still need some dirt uh, to replace so let's go ahead and grab me three stacks of dirt boom boom uh, that should be plenty honestly so we can fill up all of this area all right, let's mine this up perfect there you go so now kind of uh, blocks for stairs would we be thinking I don't want to do I, I think wood would work better maybe birch but I, I feel like birch is gonna look way too bright like way too much of a white color I, I don't know if a standout look would be better or like what if we did like a, the dark oak like the, the squares in our house for a staircase and then we have like stone brick slabs on the sides of them to, to pop it out more um, that's always some testing that we can do uh, in all fairness uh, the actual building parts itself I'm gonna try to keep on camera but I uh, all of this like mining and stuff for the most part like we use we've had so far in this video i'm gonna keep it cut it out because it's literally just me mining dirt over and over again i'm not talking or anything it's not fun at all it's just some annoying work that we have to get done and it's all good it's good making progress um i just can't wait to get all this dirt placed down and it filled with grass and then our area is going to look a whole lot nicer um a big advantage to this series is I'm really hoping to improve my building skills on Minecraft. I'm not a bad builder, but I just can't do anything super fancy. I'm better at building in-ground bases instead of above-ground structures. It's just the way I am. Um, I'm not good with outside uh, details, so I'm better with inside details. Um, I'm just not used to the outside building aspects of Minecraft that kind of throw me off a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and get all this dirt placed down as quickly as we can um, so we can go ahead and get started on our farms. We want to make... Uh, all of our farms that we have so we need to make space for both all wheat potato sugar cane and carrots all today and we want to get all of them planted because we also just need a straight up food source um, until we get our animal farms going and we have the fish behind us we could really go fishing and probably get a whole lot of salmon and uh, koi fish to eat but uh, it's not very efficient and it's kind of annoying to chase fish around sometimes in that water it, it can be annoying to just sit there and swing out water and miss nothing um, so until we get cows and steaks and pigs and everything for that we will have to stick to good old planting which won't be a problem and we have some bone meal to get us started so that will be nice boom and we can fill in here and then perfect one more piece of dirt and then here fill this in and three stacks is almost perfect amount it really was nice so i've uh i put the mountain back one slot uh compared to the staircase because i wanted the staircase to pop out a little bit um and maybe like we can put wood railings on the side or whatever i want it to look nice um our, our house does look kind of basic on the outside i do realize that now but i do like it and enjoying it um it is something different um, next time we do a Minecraft series, though, when we had a full outcome house, I'm, I'm going to try to go for a more complex design. So, well, look at that. We've got this all covered up. So we need to set up an area over here now. Uh, how we're going to do this. So I think, first of all, we should get some wood. Because, well, actually, we don't have to get wood because I don't need fences. Um, let's go get our sugar cane. Now, that is something we do need to grab right away. Um, so this chest. Oh, wait. We didn't put the sugar cane in there. Is it in here? No? In here? yes it is okay that and potatoes thank you very much okay so we can go ahead and plant the sugar cane oh god i didn't mean to fall in here cows you're not allowed to escape no stay you he tried to get now Ooh. um sugar cane is gonna be really easy we can just plant this right here no problem on the outside uh that's why i left this uh when i flattened this out because it wasn't even i added a whole layer into the river which is all of these blocks and a layer right here to the very edge uh just so it would look better oh i want this to be even so this entire outside uh, all the way up to there will be a regular sugarcane farm um and then we'll have an automatic one probably placed like right here or something uh depending on how much space i think it's a three by 
one, two, three, three by three technically, uh, and then usually a couple components on the back of it that are, are extended out past the three by three, so it's not a big deal. Um, so, and since we plan on building a massive wall around us, we don't need fences either. So we can go ahead and get planting. Um, so I'm gonna say wheat's our biggest one um, that we're probably gonna need mainly for breeding cows. So we're gonna make it our, our big farm plot point. So back here is the biggest problem. Uh, we don't have a real farm section part of the land and I really didn't mean to click that. So we need to decide how we're gonna do this. I wish I had moved the cows. Um, actually, I should probably do that right now while I still have a shovel worth. Let's go ahead and make, nope. Let's go ahead and make a new pit over here for these guys. Perfect, and we'll make it slightly bigger too. We'll make it a three by three instead of a two by three. Perfect, and let's pull out the wheat. Come on guys, come on. I'm gonna come back into a hole, but it's gonna be much, much more spacious for you guys. Um, perfect, you can stay there. And now I can fill in this hole, which is perfect for me because it was bothering me. There we go. Now this entire side is for farming, so it doesn't matter if we go up to the house or not. Um, so water travels eight blocks in each direction of Minecraft, right? So farthest from here would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five. Wait, is it? All right. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this could be. This should be the first water source block, right? And this will go out. One, two, three, four five six seven eight this will actually go out to here so i'm thinking let's extend this then to here so we have a full farm actually usable i can place these blocks like this and perfect and keep coming this way so right here is how far we need to bring it out this way okay, there we go um and squid get back in the water oh that's his fault he died okay so to continue this off to make it look natural again we need to build it like this okay perfect and get rid of that so we can do this here we go perfect get that natural like outside um i ran out of dirt blocks feeling around i need to go grab another stack of dirt blocks um because i don't want it to be all edgy and sketchy but at the same time i want all the use of all of our land possible and if it's just extending the land into the river a little bit i think that's definitely worth it um get the most efficiency out of it okay let's go ahead and fill all this in perfect so now we have that outside corner here for the future sugar cane i need to break this block oh my god there we go and perfect so now we have that outside ring again we just need to like fill in this bottom here so it's not so awkward you know i know we can't really see it above ground and everything but we know it's here we just want to fill it in at least so it looks somewhat better there we go see that looks so much better than what it already did uh, I'll just come up here and then perfect so now all the grass will grow in and everything and then now we have a perfect 8x8 we can uh, train in um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, okay um, this should be the next block technically I think there's 1, 2, 3, 4, no wait they travel four blocks or eight blocks buckets of water i'm thinking i said eight but i'm thinking it's four blocks or is it four uh, it's eight block it travels it's four blocks for uh um what is it uh filtering because uh, if we put this here one two yeah this should travel out to here which it technically does if we let's just let's just put this here look so we'll do this and fill this all the way out to the edge because look that's different from no it's not oh well, we gotta wait for it to be darkened that's how we're going to tell the difference it used to look lighter i think i feel like the, the textures were changed a little there we go okay so one two this is the third one out let's see it should at least go to here we know that for sure if that's true we can change up our water placement Ooh. 
look, the fifth one broke, but that one didn't. So it tells me that goes four, yeah, so it goes four blocks out. So there's no way, yeah, that one's uh, filtered with water, that one's soiled, but this one's clearly not going to be if that one and that one both are gone. So we can do four blocks in every direction. So one, two, three, four, one, wait, yeah? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's not right. Here. Getting the, the counting of these can be really weird sometimes, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's pick up the water source and place that back down. I, no, I don't want the cobblestone. I want dirt. And I can stomp all of these. Actually, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so place the water there. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Double checks. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So it goes out to here. So this is the outline for this guy. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and fill all this in. Write this. So we can get as much farmland going as possible. I'm going to take off my shield. Yeah, there we go. Because I'm tired of trying to right click and I pull it up to block. Okay. Now let's go ahead and go out this way. So one, two, three, four. So this is as far out this way as it can go. Perfect. And this is the max amount of farmland that we can have. One, two, three, four. Yeah, double checking. Perfect. And here we go. Okay. Now let's go back inside. And we can now sleep through the night and we can come back and get started. Let's go ahead and place our seeds down. Okay, and let's get all of these going. This is going to be a wheat section. Go ahead and get all of this started and fill in as much as we can. And it's a, does this technically count as an eight by eight? Is that what it is? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I, no, nine by eight, nine by nine, whatever. Anyways, it's a good amount of land. No! You've got to be kidding me. Really, Creeper? That was out of nowhere. I'm. Not, it's just annoying that I've got to refill in the land. Um, but that's also one of the reasons I want to get the walls up soon. But before we can do that, we're going to have to have a source of food or we're not going to be able to do anything. And now I need to go get more dirt. It's fantastic. Um, after I finish off this one, we will take a nice cut and we can come back to the finished project of everything uh, for it. Um, let's go fill this in here. Perfect. Okay, I fixed all that up. Okay, and now we can re-till this all back down. It's not a big deal. It's just going to be annoying. Now, where is the rest of them? Oh, that's all my seeds. The rest of them were blown up. Okay, well, um, at least that's going to go ahead and... Oh, wait, here's some more seeds. Thank you. Put that down. And I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these set up, and we'll be right back so you guys can see that. Okay, everyone, as we're reaching to the end of today's episode, I've pretty much got the farm all started and cleaned up. Um, I came over here to get some acacia wood for fences and staircases and stuff to clean everything up so it looks nicer for you guys. Um, well, for the series and everything. And I found all of these animals, and there are still so many pigs. And I don't think my pit's going to be big enough for all of these guys. I've got like five sheep, and there's more everywhere. This is just crazy. Ooh, three cows total. Yes, please. Or four cows total on top of the two I already have. This is crazy, and the farm is massive. I hope I have enough room in the pit for these guys. At least not, I can drag them back in. Uh, at least then they'll be over by the house, and then I still gotta come back for the pigs. Um, I might have to do that off screen because we are getting close to the end time for today's episode. I was gonna show you guys the farm and probably wrap it up there. Um, I think that is where we're gonna wrap it up though, as soon as we get these guys back, and I can uh, show you the layout. Oh my God, some cows drifted off, no. Kale. Oh, cow, 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 cow. You come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, cows. Come on. We're not going to play this game. You sheep and cows, everyone follow. Come on, guys. Come on. We got other sheep to pick up. Yes, we do. Come on. We have a long way to go. Not really. The village is right over there and the house is right over there. But we have to so This is going to be a massive start to our animal farm. This is going to be perfect. And we can get a massive jump, uh next time because i'm hoping to get the farm uh fully stocked up by the time we start next episode 
Um, come on, guys. This has been a great episode, too. I feel like we've made a lot of progress. We've gotten the farm set up, uh, gotten the animals herded. I just can't wait till you guys see the farm. It's going to be very, very cool. We have so much space. Come on, guys. Come on. Get over the hill. I know you want to. There we go. Okay, so we have one, two, five, six sheep, four cows. Six sheep, four cows. As you can see, you can see a little bit of the corner over there of the farm. Uh, this is not going to be fun, this water, though. Um, this is actually really going to suck, this water bit. Okay. Look at the farm, though, guys. Uh, so, I'll explain it here in a second as soon as I get these guys uh, across the river. But if you look in, at the first farm, we did the four spaces between each area, right? Um, I did that for each and every plot point. So, every time I, I got out four blocks from the max... Uh, farming limit from the water block and then i would count four more blocks so it was technically eight blocks between each water source um so that means i got the maximum amount of farming and once i've done that i had a lot of extra little space and i'll show you what i mean by the time i get as soon as i get these guys over here i just need these last couple to actually get up onto land cow come on yeah don't sit in the water there bud get on land i have a nice little pit for you guys all to stay in come on there you go bud we're almost there. Come on, guys. There you go. So we've got three sections of farm right now. It's clearly the wheat's our biggest section. So uh, that's what we want the most of. So that's why we've got it here up front. Um, come on, guys. Everyone in here. Come on. Everyone get in. There we go. Come on, cow. There we go. Okay. And perfect. Now we have plenty of animals. Okay, so let's finish off showing you guys off the farm here. Um, and we can do a lot of building next time, hopefully. Um, and I, maybe I can do some mining in between. Um, so this is the wheat farm. What we plan on doing is, look, so if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks, because that's four in each direction from those water sources, because they don't go out past four when uh, soiling land for farming. So all of these three front here are gonna be wheat. Um, if we look back here, these all line up in the eight by X section for those three, then these two, and then this one right here lines up the 8x8. Eight eight. Um, but all of these, these three and this one aren't. So this one was the last one I did by the 8x8 eight eight section. And then I came to this corner. I cleaned it up a bit because it wasn't quite as much space. Did another 8x8 eight eight section here. So I had uh, space there, there, and that water pit there was just grass. And I didn't like it. And I wanted it to be farmed. So I just made this as much as the 8x8 eight eight I can. Uh, it, this side clashes with these two. Um, but it's fine. It's just it's land, but I've got the full half So one two three four blocks out in this direction on this side um, Which gives a little bit of cliff here, but it's not too big and outstanding. So I'm okay with it um, This part here. I wanted to make this part land too But I figured this is perfect spot in the perfect size area for the automatic sugarcane farm Just plop it right here right on the other side of the real sugarcane farm I did extend that out more to actually get proper like sizing and everything for the land But we still have a good size river and everything so it, it works out pretty well So we have a massive farm area. It's all set up It's beautiful and everything and I can't wait to get started on it. We've got potatoes here Carrots back there. I, I plan on keeping like carrots right here up to here right where the potatoes start and the potatoes are probably going to be these sections right here and then the wheat is in that section right there so each got its own little section and then we'll have the automatic farm eventually and the outside for the sugar cane this side hopefully we can have a big massive area for our animals um right now we have a lot of cows and sheep which is very good they'll be our main two sources so what i'm thinking is because we do have to use regular fences for animals um is follow the outskirts here so like if i build a fence here uh actually if i'm building my regular but I, I want the water in here do i want the water actually do i need the water yeah i think i should keep the water in here because i want the entire house enclosed so i'm gonna have to block this off with regular fences right and then come down here i don't need this section so i think i'm gonna block off it probably right about here um put a fence here so it's not on this side of the block uh somewhere around here and then each time i'm just gonna i'm gonna make a path um the reason i've left this one block down is i'm gonna put half slabs here that lead up to staircases that lead up there and the half slabs i'll just walk up instead of jumping up the block to break any farming land or anything um but what i hopefully plan to do is just have like an entrance like right here or something and i can walk through like a, a diagonal path this way have like you know 
cows there and this is the smaller area so chickens there and then I can have uh, pigs there and then look I can put like a big horse barn right there something like that but it's a lot of future planning can we get a chicken no we can't um, but I felt like we made a, pro a lot of progress today guys we got a lot of organization done so I hope you guys all did enjoy it and I will see you all later make sure to leave a comment and subscribe if you guys did enjoy the content and peace peace